Andy the epigraph for the book is from the Tempest, and the river in the story is called the Prosper, so I'm guessing that's not a coincidence. Not a coincidence, yeah. So uh, what part of the Tempest tale from Shakespeare really resonates with you that you wanted to, to use that as a touchstone here? Yeah, it was, it was two elements of the Tempest. It was magic and the idea of isolation, magic in an isolated place and characters. Uh, of course, all the characters are exiled on an island, uh, and there's a witch, and there's the character of Caliban, who's the offspring of the witch, and then there's the character of Miranda. And um, Miranda in The Tempest, I've always felt lacks agency. She is pretty much subject to the whims of her father's machinations. And I kind of wanted to have a central female heroine who uh, was not subject to a fate that was sort of dictated by her father. Um, and so that's kind of the, the major aspect of the Tempest there. Um, and in terms of the character of Caliban, uh, there's also a, a painting by the artist Hogarth of um, Caliban. He features in the painting. And he is a very pitiable figure in the painting. He's almost childlike in the way that he's depicted. Uh, he has webbed feet, scales, a bundle of sticks on his back. He has a misshapen brow and face. And there's something very sad about him. Um, I'm not sure that the character in Shakespeare's play, while pitiable, is an entirely... Um, identifiable character for most of us. He's pretty nasty in some of the things that he does. So I wanted to, as I was flipping the character of Miranda, I also wanted to kind of flip the character of Caliban a little bit and have um, uh, something that I felt was more in tune with the Hogarth painting that that resonated with me, a child who's uh, very much a, a magical creature that that we can feel empathy for and not just a monster. Now, where would Nash County, Arkansas be if it actually existed? It would be in southwest Arkansas. Uh, let's say Nash County is actually... Um, About where Miller County is? It's or? Miller County, yeah. It's, it's around Falk, Arkansas. Um, so you probably know the story about... The Falk Monster. The Falk Monster, mm -hmm. right. Um, I came across that story when I was 12 years old for the first time. I was watching it late night on TBS... Um, the Legend of Boggy, Boggy Creek, Creek yeah. right, came on. And uh, I was staying at a, a hotel with my parents in Monroe, Louisiana at the time. We were at the Holodome, which no longer exists. Uh, so I had a little room separate from theirs where I could stay up late and watch movies. And I was watching The Legend of Boggy Creek. I had never seen it before, and I had never seen a story that was set so near home that was... Uh, frightening in the way that was frightening to me as a kid. And I've since seen it many times. And of course, it's it's in many ways kind of a, a silly movie, but, you know, it draws upon some truth of, of what was happening in the region. But of course, it's, it's fictionalized. Um, but it does, I think, capture the place very well, that part of Arkansas, that kind of wild and sort of tangled backwater part of Arkansas that's on the border of Texas and Louisiana. And I wanted to do that in my second book. Um, so I thought about the legend of Boggy Creek quite a bit while I was writing this. Um, and of course, the Falk monster was always ever present in my mind and in the early formative stages of the book, which um, ultimately kind of morphed into the little fish character and the Caliban thread got tied into that as well. So 